Oh no, it's a double tick. It's a double tick. <laughs> Hello carpologists and welcome to Tar Farm. As you can see, I've just had a little bit of a swim carnage. I've got one in the net, the other rod has ripped off and today I'm going to be showing you one of the new products which Nash have recently released and that is the Dot Spot Air. But enough of me talking, let's try and get this in. A nice double take to start the day. And yeah, it looks like we're gonna be able to catch a few. What a perfect start to the day. Double take, had to get the cameraman involved. Keeping me busy. Keeping you busy, he's got the bigger one, I've got the prettier one. But give this lake a few years, and yeah, it's gonna be some venue. But I'm gonna get these fish put back, put a few more spots out there using the dot spot air, and I'm pretty confident we're gonna be able to catch a few more on the zigs. I could tell mine was gonna go, there you go. <laughs> I've just released them first couple of fish. I've got the rods back out there and I'm confident that I'm gonna be able to get another bite or two once I introduce a few more mixes. But before I do that, I'm gonna talk about the start of the show and that is the Dot Spod Air. The Dot Spod Air is the latest addition to the spod range that Nash produce and it introduces bait in a very unique way. As you can tell, it looks identical to a standard Dot Spod but the main difference is when you cast one of these out. When you hit the clip, this will actually open in flight, allowing bait to be spread over a large area. This is a really unique way, rather than spotting nice and tight on a spot, and there's a few advantages of using this. The first advantage is if you're surface fishing. The last thing that you really want to do is cast a dot spot out right on top of a feeding fish. However, with this, you can cast it out, hit the clip a good 10, 20 yards short of a fish, and the mixers will be able to scatter on top of the fish without spooking them. Another great advantage of using this is if you're fishing for younger fish which have been reared on pellets, the sound of a bit coming out the spot and sort of splattering on the surface will attract them into the zone. One final scenario where I'd love to use this style of spot is if I'm fishing in the margin or up against snags. I'll be able to cast nice and tight, get that bait within the snags, get them fish grubbing around without risking losing the spot itself. The way that the dot spot air works is with this, the spring-loaded mechanism at the back. So all you do is simply load the spot up as normal. You can use whatever you want in there, particle, floaters, boilies, put it in there and close it just like you would with a normal dot spot. Once you've got the bait in the dot spot air, you then move towards the back end of the spot. Starting off with, you've got this metal loop. This loop simply hooks onto the blue clip and you squeeze the metal clip into the same loop that holds everything into place and you're ready to cast out. When you cast out, this will actually unclip and when you hit the clip, the metal ring will pull and that will be it. The dot spot will open. The spread of bait is determined with how high and hard you hit the clip. If you want in a nice large area of bait, make sure to hit the clip nice and hard and high up in the sky. The dot spot air is available in two different sizes and two different colours so you're able to pick the spot which is perfect for the scenario that you're fishing. So that's how the dot spot air works but what I'm going to do now is get a few more mixes in here, put them out over the zigs. While I've been sat here I haven't had a bite but I'm pretty confident once I get this out there, ring the dinner bell, it'll get a few fish in the area and we'll be able to get another bite. Right, it went quiet after them couple of fish for say 20 minutes, half hour, but greed is good. So I put a couple of more spods out. The mixers went out there. Straight away, I seen a few fish swirling. And yeah, the zig, which was placed right underneath the mixers, is just absolutely tanked off. And we're attached into another angry tar farm carp. Number three, get in. Oh, look at that one. I had a sneaky feeling if I got a few more mixers out there with the dot spot air, it wouldn't take too long to get another bite and probably 20, 25 minutes after them first two, I put two more spods out there and pretty much instantly, one of the zigs was away with being able to catch the third fish of the session. Again, a proper scaly one. It shows that the future's bright for Tar Farm, but I'm greedy. I want to catch a few more and maybe one or two a little bit bigger. So let's get this one put back and get a few more mixes out there.
every single fish that I've caught today have been skill perfect, really nice fish, but this one has got to be my personal favourite. And it's a great way to round up the day. It's been prolific, I've had plenty of bites using the zigs, but I feel like the main reason we've been able to maximise today's session is using the dot spot air, baiting up nice and quietly, not spooking any carp and getting multiple bites. But get out there, buy yourselves a dot spotter and make sure to subscribe to Carpology TV. Mm -hmm.